So hello everyone and welcome to Solvi. So finally we've got our first comment uh, from the last video by Tajo Jagan Jack. He says, could you help me with my math homework? There is this one question that I find really hard to answer and the teacher speaks too fast. The question is determine whether f of x is continuous and if the equation is differenti differenti what? differentiable, yeah. Uh, where the absolute value of u is the absolute value of u, as he says. Uh, f of x equals len absolute value of x minus 1, all plus 1. Please help. Okay, so let's take this away and start our video. So he said that the function f of x equals len absolute value of x minus 1 all plus 1 he would like to check two things uh, first of all if it's continuous second he would like to check its derivative so let's start with continuity uh, first of all uh, since we have absolute value in our function, this function can be divided into two uh, parts. Uh, so, for example, if we had the, the function absolute value of x, then we can write it in, in this way. It's equal to x for x is greater than or equal to 0 or greater than 0. And minus x for x is less than 0. So in this example, we've got x minus 1. So the absolute value of x minus 1 equals x minus 1 for x is greater than 1 and 1 minus x which is the, uh, the negative of it for x is less than 1 so let's write the whole function using this uh, this what this stuff so the new function f of x would be written this way then the x minus 1 plus 1 for x is greater than 1 and then 1 minus x plus 1 for x less than 1 so you can write it this way then x for x is greater than 1 then 2 minus x for x less than 1 so in order for us to check the continuity for the len functions we know that any len is continuous on x is greater than 0 if it's len x so uh, or any 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 function that's inside must be greater than 0 for the first part this uh, this len x must be greater than 0 and if we check our period it starts from 1 so it must be greater than 0 but anyway we're starting our function from 1 to infinity so this part is continuous all the time what about the second part 2 minus x then 2 minus x must be greater than 0 so if we take the 2 to the other side uh, we directly know that it must be greater than uh, x must be less than 2 right so yeah if it's no way less than minus No, it's then if it's zero, two minus zero, it's two. If it's one, mm -hmm. so if it's two, it's going to be zero. So it must be less than two. So x must be less than two. Or you can simply just take the x to the other side. So x is less than two. Uh, so for this part, x be, must be less than two. 
so let's say this is 2 x must be less than 2 but anyway already x is less than 1 then this part is also continuous then we can conclude that this function which is what well, well, it was originally called f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 1 this one is continuous on R. So it's continuous on all the values. This is for the first part of your question. Before I continue with the second part, I would like to ask you... What was your name? Tajo. I would like you to... Uh, if, you, if you really found this video useful please share the channel with your colleagues and friends in the school so that anyone everyone can get this solution and anyone who uh, got any other question can ask in the comments so okay the second part you're asking if it's uh, differentiable or not so uh, uh, we directly will use this function this new function which is equal to the function in the beginning, but this will make it easier for to derive. To derive. So f of x equals an x, or x is greater than one, and two minus x, or x less than one. So let's try the first part, the derivative of ln equals one over what's inside the ln times the derivative of what's inside the ln which is 1 and that's, that equals 1 over x and don't forget the period for x is greater than 1 and then the derivative of the second part which is 2 minus x which will equal 1 over 2 minus x multiplied by minus 1 equals minus 1 over 2 minus x don't forget the period for x is less than 1 so uh, this uh, let's check if it's continuous and if it's differentiable on all values. For x is greater than one, uh, this part this part will be will uh, should not equal zero. And already x is greater than one, then we are in the safe side. This part should not be uh, l uh, greater than uh, should not equal two and it's already less than 1, then it's continuous. Let's check the last part, which is very important, the part, uh, at 1. Uh, so the, der the derivative from the right will equal 1 over 1, which is 1, but from the left, this is from right, but from left, it's going to equal minus 1 over 2 minus 1, which is minus 1. So from the left, it doesn't, uh, from right, from right, it doesn't equal the derivative from the left. This means that you can, uh, this function doesn't have a derivative uh, at 1, at x equals 1. And if you, uh, you, you can check that if you went to any application that throws the function. Here I directly used Google. Switch out the line. Uh, this is the graph of the original function, and as you can see over here in this part, uh, <coughs> there is an edge uh, the, uh, at the x equals 1, and that's the reason why we don't have a derivative. Although, if you did, it if you did the derivative using the calculator at x equals 1, it will give you 0. However, from the right, it will give you, if you write like 1.0001, it will give you 1 and if you write 0.9999 it will give you minus 1 however whenever you get the derivative at 1 it gives you 0 and uh, actually I don't have like I don't know the reason behind that but uh, I know that there is no derivative there shouldn't be a derivative at x equals 1 uh, so because it's um, it's the switching point the part where the function flips and that's of course because of the absolute value. Uh, so I wish you liked this video and thanks to uh, Tajo for being our first person to ask a question in the comments. 
I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed uh, all of you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe if you have any other question come in it comment write it down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one thanks